Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. And I'm just going to quick review on a Schuber C5 helmet. I wear flip-ups because I wear glasses. I don't usually wear them when I'm recording these because of the reflection in the lenses. So uh, let's have a look at this flip-up helmet. As with most flip-ups you'll get these days, there is a small catch you can use to uh, engage. It's not the easiest thing to work in gloves or even with bare hands as you can see while I'm doing this while trying to hold a canvas steady. Um, the chin bar will stay up on its own but I wouldn't recommend doing this while you're riding. It's okay to leave it up in the garage but if you are going to ride with the chin bar in the raised position do engage the lock. Basing the chin bar is quite easy, it's a nice easy to find release. Uh, when lowering it, I do tend to find I need to use the release as well to make it slightly easier. There are three vents, a chin vent, a visor vent which is very good for demisting and then we also have the top vent here for keeping your head cool in summer. Um, as you can see my helmet's been used today so it's looking a little bit on the grubby side. I was riding in the rain today which is why I'm doing this review now. Um, it's the first time since buying this uh, helmet nine months ago that it's actually been out in anything resembling heavy rain. The uh, visor has got quite a lip on it, which is very pronounced, but so far it's kept the water out, which is quite good because my previous AVG compacts did let water in through uh, the top seal and then it'd run down the inside of the visor. Of course, as with most flip-up helmets, you get a sun visor that will drop down quite nicely using a control on the side, you can see here. Easy enough to operate, it does take a bit of finding, it's uh, fairly flush with the helmet, but it's uh, easy enough to work once you get your uh, thumb in to where it is. The clear visor locks are very good, they stay in the up position when you want them to, and uh, the down position also, there is, it's a slightly annoying that you need to pull these tabs out to actually get it locked into the fully closed position. Um, no major thing, it just catches you out when you first buy one of these and start using it if you haven't used one before. One nice little touch on the chin strap is that there's a Velcro part to it as well. So you will uh, secure this before securing the main uh, locking mechanism. Don't just rely on the Velcro, you do need to use the locking mechanism as well obviously and with everything these days the release is coloured bright red so that emergency services can find it to remove the helmet. Um, obviously we looked at the chin bar release earlier and that is also bright red. As with all flip ups it's not the lightest thing in the world to wear, as you can see on this one a medium or size 57 weighs over 1.6 kilos with a plus or minus 50 grams rating on it as well. If you ride all year round wearing one of these you'll get used to the weight. It's also pretty quiet for a flip. The uh, side uh, pods, there aren't any. The visor goes straight in, it's easy to release. Uh, slight downside, the sun visor doesn't release so if you need to clean it or defog it then you uh, I you have to do it while it's installed into the helmet. A little bit of a minus point, I'd like mine to be able to release so I could get it out and clean it if I needed to. So aside from the sun visor cleaning difficulties, uh, are there any downsides with the helmet? Um, it's at the pricier end of the non-carbon fibre flip-up range. Um, it seems to be well made, um, I said it's quiet, the vents work very well as long as you're moving, when you're stopped, not so well. The uh, Locking mechanism to keep the visor locked down is very secure. You can leave it slightly raised to help with the defogging process. Apart from that, it was a little bit tight on the side of my jaw to start with. Um, the fit is very good for me. I've obviously got a Schuberth and Ally shaped head, so uh, these work very well. And uh, you can fit intercoms into them if you desire. Um, overall, yes, a bit pricey, annoying about the drop down sun visor that you can't remove it. Uh, vents are easy enough to get to once you figure out where they are and uh, overall yeah I've uh, obviously bought it used it for nine months and I'm uh, enjoying using it it's uh, one of the better flip-ups out there at least as far as I've found 
Anyway, I'll see you in the next kit review. If you missed the uh, Boots one earlier on the Daytona Roadstar GTX, there'll be something up here about it. And uh, see you in the next video.